here with Concordia Head Women's Soccer Coach Thomas Goins after a, a PK shootout to advance to the conference championship game. Uh, I, I don't know how many times you've seen this in your career, but what, what were some of the emotions that were going through you and, and just watching this unfold, taking eight PKs to, to finally clinch it? Yeah, um, PK shootouts are a, a great way to win, an awful way to win, a great way to lose, an awful way to lose. It's just uh, kind of an unfair finish to a really good match. Uh, Midland just played a great game. I thought it was it was my favorite match of the entire year. So uh, when you get to that point, it's yeah, every mo every motion wrapped up into one. Um, and you know the bravery it takes for these kids to step up in front of the crowd after playing two full uh, two full p uh, periods and overtime to step up and even take the shot is is immense. Um, I haven't I've experienced a handful of my own career, a handful as a coach, and none of them. Uh, are certainly easy. Um, so it's hard to explain the emotion, but it is when you win, it's just it's not, a, not a better feeling. And uh, how about the, the way you executed? Uh, both teams actually missed uh, several shots <laughs> in, in the first five kicks, but um, I, what were you feeling like when, when Bethany stepped up? With an, another chance to, to clinch it. There. Yeah, it wasn't the most clinical finishing. Uh, there was a pretty good headwind coming out of the shooters, which lifted a bunch of their shots. Um, and, you know, it's it's tough to compensate. Again, after you played the full game and overtime, you're not really thinking through that process. Um, what, you know, Bethany had, has had a good week of training. We've practiced those moments. And we were pretty confident that, I'm pretty, we were confident that she would you know, be able to put her shot away. And, again, stepping up in that moment, that was, that was big for her. And we're just happy she's part of the family. Uh, going to the GPAC championship game, some of these players were are in totally different roles than they were in the fall. Uh, what was kind of your message to them about what they've done right so far? I, I can't be more proud of how far they've come in such a short period of time. Uh, COVID has made everything we do a challenge, just from just scheduling practice to how we travel to games um, and having a spring season uh, and players coming and going. And it's just been a, a tough uh, thing for players to adjust to. And uh, some players' roles, as you said, have changed from the first day of training camp to now in a conference semifinal. Um, players playing full 90 minutes who might not have played as much in the fall. And stepping up in these moments is huge. Uh, couldn't be more proud of how, how far they've come. Uh, it's something that I, as a player, I've never had to that kind of challenge and each one of these women have stepped up to beat it. And last thing, uh, you get to play the championship game here at home, <laughs> three versus the five in the championship game. What does that say about uh, this conference uh, and the parity? I think this conference, every single match is a, is a fight. You don't go into any GPAC game thinking that you're going to walk away with an easy result um, from top to bottom, really. Uh, we were lucky to jump on a couple teams, but that wasn't because uh, it was a bad match. We were just fortunate a couple times in season. But, uh, you know, in, in our conference, you have to bring your A game every day or you can lose. And uh, our next match against Jamestown is another one. Jamestown is a very good team, uh, very athletic, and they're going to challenge us all over the field. So uh, we're looking forward to the game. We'll enjoy tonight, um, recover tomorrow, and start getting ready for the game the next day.